Hello, and welcome to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kirk Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And also keep in mind that Pristine offers many excellent webinars throughout every month. Here is a list of some of the free webinars we've got coming up this week. Today, Monday, July 6th at 4.15, why the Pristine Prop Program is the total package, as well as some other excellent webinars, as I said, throughout this week. You can check out www.pristine.com for the full list and uh, the upcoming schedule. So, taking a look at the Forex market here, you can see as we always start in the upper left with Euro US dollar, here is our daily time frame and we continue to see much of the same action that we've been accustomed to over the last uh, month or so and that is basically just sideways and indecisive with the whole Greece situation uh, uh, or, or just up in the air. There's been a lot of up and down fluctuations in volatility and that pretty much remains the case here. So while we do have a slight downward slope uh, at the moment with a series of lower highs and lower lows or after uh, the last several weeks, we'll see if the Euro US dollar can come on down to this pivot low and then we'll see what happens. But overall, again, more neutral bias, no real strong directional bias at this point in time. Moving on over to Aussie dollar, US dollar here, you can see we had a very nice move lower uh, overall here in the last several days leading from or following from this lower high that formed after we got this initial drop. There was a retracement into resistance that formed a very nice topping tail and bearish changing of the guard. In fact, a pattern that we teach in our Forex program uh, resulted in a very nice move lower to the downside and uh, we actually talked about this as being the likely scenario in last week's video uh, if we take a look at the weekly chart you can see that the overall bias was definitely bearish between the move up here that failed right and we came back down going sideways here we were saying how uh, while we were still somewhat Neutral, it was a more bearish bias overall based on the failed attempt to move higher and the inability to uh, have a significant move off these lows. And then when you drill down to the daily, again, you see the extra details and uh, just would have, what would have resulted in a beautiful opportunity to the downside. Moving on over to the right, New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, still in a steady downtrend. Not much more needed to say than that. This pair continues to um, just bleed lower. I mean, nothing great in terms of patterns or entry points. But, hey, you know, just, just following the trend, this continues to bleed. And as we've looked at in past videos, there's not a whole lot in terms of support to the left to hold this up, at least not right now. So, uh, as I said, just continues to bleed lower. And uh, that's pretty much the bias here. So, I mean, definitely a bearish bias. But uh, the harder part is going to be finding a, a great entry to get on board to where you're not having to sit with it for a tremendous amount of time um, waiting for it to really put some nice profit in your pocket. Moving on down, bottom right, U.S. dollar yen. And uh, this one continues to be also somewhat indecisive and confused uh, as the weekly is trying to hold us up. But the daily here is is definitely in the short term a bit weaker. And that's what's creating that that battle back and forth. If I switch on over to the weekly, you can see here that the weekly has just simply been pulling back into the prior breakout area, which is bullish. But again, it's been fighting the daily. So um, really just need to wait for these two time frames to come into alignment. And what would need to happen for that to take place is a daily chart which can get above some level of resistance. So at a minimum, you know, if we can get above this pivot high, things will then start to look much more positive for US dollar yen. But until then, we could continue to see this slowly work its way even lower. 
So that's what we'll be uh, on the lookout for, is whether or not we can get over this. If we can, know that the larger time frame and the smaller time frame are coming into agreement and that we should begin to see some better follow through overall. Moving on over to the US dollar Canadian dollar, we can see a very nice move up took place last week and here it is looking like it wants to continue moving higher this week. This one was was somewhat neutral overall, but as, as the week developed, as we started to see things shaping up, uh, it, it became more and more evident that price wanted to move higher. If we look at the weekly chart, we can see very strong move up from this higher low. So again, the weekly was somewhat neutral to, to a bit more bullish overall after this strong move up. Again, we spoke about this in past videos so you can always check those out to to follow along with past analysis but uh, in any case here we have a higher low setting up which was at least good enough for a move back to the prior high and as you can see here now what looks like it's going to move back up towards this uh, prior high from the beginning of the year which would be very nice to see so going back to the daily chart again here it is. This was the area where we formed that that higher low, and uh, price has been able to move higher nicely. This was this was a, an interesting point right here, as we started last week, but we were able to show some great strength. And in fact, there was some great opportunity on the U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. If I show you the four-hour chart. Right? You could have been looking to get in down here, even over here on this breakout. There were just plenty of opportunities for one to have considered along, right? Pull back, support, moves up, another little pullback here. Just basically buying this breakout, which would have been an entry above that daily high. Right, I'll, sh I'll go back here and we'll take a look at the daily which basically would have been buying over this area, this resistance. And uh, as you can see, beautiful run higher. And then finally, in the bottom left, pound US dollar, this continues to slowly pull back, which is really fine. I mean, considering the, the, uh, the weekly chart, it's just simply pulling back, now sitting on top of this moving average, this eight exponential moving average, and we'll see if it can stabilize here. As we go back to the daily, you can see that it is into a small cluster, a little bit of support here, but uh, it's also rolled over and now below the moving averages, so that could play a little bit into the overall volatility and, and indecision here. So we'll just uh, we'll just keep an eye on this overall it it could continue to weaken a bit we'll have to see but at the same time it is into a support area where buyers could start to step up more aggressively and so that just means to be a bit more uh, nimble be be more objective than than what you may usually be because you might need to change your bias uh, rather quickly given this environment or given this area right? while the smaller time frames trends are weak we have a daily chart and a weekly chart which are a bit more bullish and so any failures to move lower could result in a in a significant strengthening in this pair so we'll again have to keep our eyes peeled we'll have to as always stay objective and be willing and ready to change at a moment's notice so that's where we uh, where we have things right now as I said make sure to check back with our free webinar schedule and register for any that interest you if you have any questions for me you can send me a direct email Kurt at pristine.com or you can always comment in the comment section below on this video we'll get back to you and also make sure to like and subscribe so that you can get future updates for any additional videos that will be submitted until the next time stay patient stay disciplined and stay confident we'll see you in the next video